Barrow Beach at traffic, Meridian 6 year Hotel Lima taking the active runway 12 right for straight out departure. Manual, manual. Manual, manual. Landing Last line pulse, Last flap takeoff. set. Takeoff configs off. Confirm. Yeah, so just start increasing your power. Okay. Instead of a manifold, you're just watching torque for now. I mean, you're watching all three, but that one's gonna hit first. Increase watch, increase watch, increase watch. There you go. Keep coming. Right about there. Back it off a little. There you go, perfect. Alright. Pressure coming back a little. And there we are. There it is, and we can be airborne. Now what the Autoland tries to do is the RNAV approach. Okay. So when it actually goes out and calculates, it's looking for GPS approaches with vertical guidance. Yes. So LPV, LPV plus. Yes. Um, and then it beelines for the final approach fix. It doesn't run the course. Interesting. And that's partially because if people are on the course, it doesn't want to run them over. Right. So it's just trying to get to that final approach fix. So I'm going to load it here. Okay. And you can see it's zapes. Okay. Or mu it's muds. Muds. Sorry. Yeah. And so, it, and then if I wanted, I can bring up that chart. And we can look at it. Nice. So there's muds, muds at 1500. Final. Okay. So what it's going to try to do when it calculates where it's going to go, it's going to target muds at 1500 feet okay. and eventually 140 knots. Wow. Okay. But to get there, it may be 20 miles out, 30 miles out. It's going to accelerate. To 200, 230 knots, depending wow. on its altitude. Wow. Once it gets to MUDs, or the final approach fix of any given place where it decides to go, it will then slow up. About five miles out, it'll start slowing up. You'll see the throttle move back. Wow. It'll slow up, and it'll target 140 in the box. Zero traffic, okay. zero traffic. If it doesn't get to the 1500 on the assigned chart, four, two, two, and 140 at the same time, it'll do a left hand. 360 at the fix until it gets Whoa. stable. So it tries to stable out, stabilize the whole thing. I'm just trying to give you a picture of what's going to happen. Cool. So that while you're watching it, you can see it. So when you're ready, you yeah. can just reach up, lift that, push it, hold it until the screen changes. Two. All right, let's do it. Work via vector smash. Look, then it's file 2320, 10 minutes. That's good. All right. We're looking here. Auto land activated. The emergency auto land system so is watch. controlling the aircraft. See how it moved up. land at the safest nearby airport. Targeted 200. Please remain calm. <laughs> Please Avoid remain calm. touching the flight controls, which may interfere with auto land. Your destination is shown on the bottom of the left and right displays. Your estimated time to landing is shown on the top of all three displays. Emergency auto land has already informed air traffic control of your situation. All right. Yeah, if you would like to talk to air traffic demo. control, adjust your microphone so it's clear and close to your mouth. So in this, I, I know from, from research, uh, it communicates the ATC for us. Yeah. Was it doing that or did you disable it for the it's demo? It's disabled for the demo. Gotcha. What would, would it actually do? It would just, it would broadcast for us? Or yeah, it would be on the, the approach frequency or the, the tower frequency in this case. And it knows to not step on people? It knows? No, nope. oh. nope. and it'll, it'll rotate back and forth between comms and 121.5. It's looking for airports that are 4,000 foot long in this aircraft. It's looking for 150 foot wide, 150, 100 feet wide, and at a minimum it'll do a 75 foot wide runway. Wow. But it, in, a, in a split second it's making these calculations. It looks at if you have weather radar on, it looks at XM weather. Wow. It'll look at all the information available. We've got a radar altimeter that helps yeah. us with the final yeah, flare. Yeah. Uh, when does it lower gear and everything? Right when it rolls level here. You'll feel it. You won't see the handles move, but it'll do it. Okay. We'll see it here. That's yeah. why we have that for okay. our demo purposes. And because it's not broadcasting, it's not declaring an emergency. Right. Right. Which is why I have Wind to talk. One three zero eight. There goes the gear. Key 459, if it was below two, 4 degrees five, outside two, when we execute this, which in most cases it will be because you'll be up at altitudes, right. it runs the whole windshield anti-ice, surface de-ice wow. systems. So you'll see the ice light come on, most likely. Wow. Um, this is zero, Papa Papa. Frequency change approved today. Perfect Star Six Zero Hotel Lima, my Zinda. Six Zero Hotel Lima, Roger.
you'll arrive at your destination shortly. Once the aircraft has landed and come to a complete awesome. stop, you can see exit there's the airport. The yeah. Door. And throttle should start easing back as we go downhill. Capture the glide. This flight, it'll land yes. faster. Yeah, and it's just kind of a carrier landing. Be aware, it's just going to be a little abrupt bump up. There we go. There goes the throttle. Okay. Gonna catch itself. Little right today. That's okay. <laughs> but we're on. We are on. Wow. I just want to personally thank the team at Piper, not only for an amazing opportunity, but for their relentless commitment to continue to push the edge of what we can do with technology, with aviation safety, to really witness that firsthand. It's just such an outstanding uh, experience. The amount of families and lives that just saves and protects and, and allows to just have such a fruitful uh, career and hobby in aviation. Have a wonderful rest of your day and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.